Hey guys, Zach Gears here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Stalker Custom, episode number three. So here we are at the Carter Hyder Dam, getting ready to drop off some of the stuff that we don't need to be carrying around with us. So I'm just going to put it all. I think I, I think I dropped a lot outside. But I'm just going to go through and double check. See, we don't need to be carrying that because we do have some that's already busted up. Uh, tinder plug, that's fine. We do need that. So right now, I'll get you a drink here in a second. A um, bunch of pain meds. Probably don't need that many of them. Um, this run through, because I got rid of the broken ankles, which is about 90% of my pain med use. There. All right. And I'll just... Well, let's just, let's just hold off on that. There we go. Let's just keep that. I think else is looking pretty good. Uh, I can put these together and make myself, make myself a bandage here. Let's take a look outside see what it looks like. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place, folks, as usual. Am I wearing everything that I have here? Yes, good. Okay. Um, food, some water. We're pretty much ready to travel. This, mm, I'm going to wait until I, I don't need to carry that. I do have a pot for drinking. If I can re read through these books and get rid of those, that'll be, you know, 2.2 pounds right there. All right. A bunch of these, I could smash those up into rose hip stuff. Uh, I don't know if I really need to be tricking this stuff around, but we're okay right now with our weight. So let's just go ahead and get going. As long as, uh, the weather's decent, if it's really cold, like I think it was, yeah, we might just wait in here for a minute, see if it goes up in temperature, see what happens with the weather. Cause that might turn into a blizzard. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, let's see here, improved hand wraps. No, not those. No, that's not what I wanted. Bandage. Um, nope. Prepared rose hips. That's what I wanted to do. How many of these can I do? I can only do one. Oh, because it takes 24 of them. It's actually talking about each individual berry. All right. It's going to leave some left over, but that's okay. Again, I'm just trying to. Let's see here. We should be able to drop some here. Uh, I'm going to actually put them in a container because it's a pain in the butt to try to pick those up. So let's do this here. Are they going to be under here? Yeah, that's where they are. We only have one? That's it? I thought we had more than that. Oh, that's prepared. Hold on. Where's the actual rose hips? Probably food, maybe? Uh, resource. Did I actually use all of them? I don't think I had exactly the right amount. Okay, so be it. So it went from half a pound to down to 0 0.11, like a tenth of a pound. All right, didn't take much time. Temperature's probably still going to be the same. It's getting a little foggy, so maybe temperature's increasing. It did. All right, just want to make sure I do have my pistol. Good to go. All right, we are carrying the right one. It is loaded. Actually, let's double check. Press the R just for good measure. Okay, there we go. We are fully loaded. And more stuff here, just so we know. Um, can I paint something here real quick? Hmm, might want to do that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, navigation? Ah, oh, yeah, somebody said that we did have... Uh, oh, I, I would need to actually move where I want to. I want to put resources here. So someone did actually put in uh, the comments that, hey, if you use your, if you use your uh, radio menu, you can get straight to the spray paint that way. So thank you for that. Uh, materials, storage, tools. Okay, let's do storage here. I'm just going to hold it down. Nope. Okay. So there we go. So we searched it and we have storage. Okay, that's coming from over there. I don't know if I checked the truck yet or not. I think I did. 99% sure I did, but I'm just going to double check. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's make sure there's no wolves on the tracks ahead. Okay. Let's see if I can see where this wolf was. There he is. He's down there, and he's heading up the hill. Okay. So we want to avoid him. I might go Alan's Caves route and hit the uh, lookout down here. As long as there's no wolf down here. Could be a moose. 
All right, since we're not interacting with anything right now, I have a pistol out just in case because there's some blind hills here and such. I'll actually get over here. Feels so good being able to climb up these hills and not have to think twice about it. I think there might be some saplings over here maybe too. I can't remember. There will be a wolf down in this little valley here when we come come near Alan's cave, but uh not here near Alan's cave, but uh there's a lot of times there's a rabbit that distracts him. There's birch bark. I already dropped some. I'm not going to pick it up again. Okay, pretty wide open here, so I'm going to holster. I think that was behind me. Keeping my headphones on this time. Oh yeah, I said I was going to give her a drink. Sorry. I get so focused on... Oh, there they are. I knew there's birch saplings. Wonderful. Temp's not too bad. 10 degrees. So make some fine arrows. Each of these is worth three arrows when they're fully cured and crafted. So right there. That'll fill a quiver nicely. We don't have quivers. I'm just saying that. All right, I'm going to pull out the pistol here just because this is sort of a very high probability chance of there being a wolf here. Boom. Ready to go. Just getting mentally prepared. I'm going to get low. Get low. Yeah, I'm just going to creep up real slow. See, see what the situation holds for us. So you don't want to get too tucked underneath one of these because if it gets too low and a wolf comes up over the hill and you need to run away, you could actually be stuck uh, in, a, in a crouch walk. So just be careful of that. Like, oh, let's see, if I, see, I can't stand up right there. But if I'm over here, I can. So you might panic, turn around, think you can run when you can't. And then you get all discombobulated and bad things happen from there. It happens to me all the time. Not the standing up and hitting my head on a rock, but I'm just saying, getting discombobulated. And then trying to recover, you know, in real time without any actual plan at that point. Murphy's Law style. Alright, old Alan's Cave. I haven't been here in a long, long time. Normally because I don't like dealing with this wolf down here in this valley. But, you know what? I'm in control of my fate here. The uh, the wildlife, they're just here for scenery. They see there's a rabbit over there running. I don't know if you caught him going between those trees, but if you keep an eye out over there, you'll see a rabbit. There, yeah, there's, just, there's a rabbit. And then I want to check out this hunting blind if it's available. It's starting to get cold, but that's okay. We'll come out. Oh, you know, there's a deer up there also, normally, and a deer carcass down here. All right. Just gotta be careful. That wolf could, I don't know, mate. It's been so long since I've been here. He might hang out in the cave now. Since I don't see him down here, makes me a little suspicious where, where he's at. Okay, let's just make a move. If we come nose to nose with him, we'll take a nice calculated shot. Alan's cave, you got anything for me? No, nope, not today. I don't see anything. Unless you got like a storage box back here or something. Nothing? Sounds like it's over in that direction, which is kind of where we're heading. So, the fact that we have furry hippity hops down here, frolicking, without a care in the world, does make me a little happier. I can always go up into this hunting blind, but I think maybe now the wolves can go up there and get you. I'm not 100% sure on that. I haven't tested that theory. Don't really want to. But let's holster here because we're about to start grabbing resources. I don't want to have a negligent discharge. 
Rifle cartridge, nice. Flare. And a bedroll. We're going to see which bedroll's in better shape. I don't need that. I have three bandages. It's 80%. I'm going to take that see what we got. I can't remember. Yeah, let's drop the 72%er. There we go. It's a free upgrade. Anything down here? Might be missing. Nope. And I did check that out for the bandages. Those deer, they're footfalls, man. They travel quite a ways. Always a little unnerving. They sound like something's right on top of you. Alright, we just need to be careful coming through here. This is my least favorite way to travel through Mystery Lake. It's just so narrow. Alright, I'm going to get up here. Not stinky, am I? Nope. I am wind protector now. I'm pretty cold. Son of a gun. Is he ping me or is he going after a rabbit? I think he's going after a rabbit. I don't want to make that assumption though. Yep, he's going after that rabbit. There he is. If he gets that rabbit to run from him a little bit, I could probably skirt down this way and get around him. Yep. Yep, he killed the rabbit. So he killed the rabbit there. I want to go wide this side. We should be good. But we need to do it before he eats the rabbit. Because it won't take him long to eat a rabbit. Yeah, you can hear him chomping on the bones, can't you? Don't go that way, rabbit. Yep, you're going the wrong way. I should have pushed the rabbit this way, ahead of me. As a blocker. That kind of worked out good. I think that's the first... Well, no, that's the second wolf we saw. We saw the one down there next to the Carter Hydra Dam. So. Anyway. Alright, fishing huts. Yay, salvation. We're going to go straight to uh, camp office. And uh, loot there. And uh, get warmed up. So we do need to recover a little bit. Camp officer right over here. So I need to clean my monitor. <laughs> a couple black dots on it. Like tiny little black dots that out in the distance look like movement. It's screwing screwing with me a little bit. There you go. Got one of them off. Probably not the best best method of doing it, but it is what it is. What's the tip now? 16? Okay. All right, I'm going to holster this, grab a few of these cattails. Uh, I'll take I'll take the tender parts here as well while we're... There's two tenders plus the one that I already have. That's going to be four. That should, that's five. That should be good. I'll just start taking the cattail stalks, the edible part, not the tender part. Don't need the extra weight. Oh, do we have a dead guy up here? Oh, we do. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'd like to chop up this tree. I don't think you can. I used to try every so often. But uh, I've given up hope. Well, you can chop that one up right there. Alright, we gotta kind of be quick here. Let's make sure that there's no patrol wolf up here. I want to go up to the camp office first to make sure it's safe. Before I venture out to check on the guy's body. Let me do a little quick little sweep around here. Make sure there's no rifle that happens to be stashed here nowadays. Okay. You go for a couple months without, or a month or two without visiting a location. You start wondering in this game. Uh, a couple updates pass. You're like, I wonder if I should just start checking everywhere again. Oh, and I am going to play the... Uh, the, what is it, Dark Walker or whatever the heck it's called. The Halloween event. It's going to be like over the course of like a week, two weeks, something like that. So that's fine. That works out good for me because before my, it was a four day event and you had to like participate every day. 
and just my schedule would never allow it. I'd like be able to play a couple days and then I wouldn't be able to play the other two days because I work 12 hour shifts. So, um, yeah, so I never, I sort of tried to play and then I was like disheartened. I was like, eh, I'm not going to try that again. Can't do it. What's the point of starting it? I can't see it through. But in this event, it's, it's different. Uh, basically being chased by a invisible, uh, <laughs> grim reaper sort of thing. And, um, yeah, so you can keep it at bay using uh, by laying down sp some sort of symbol, I guess. And eventually, you can't stay too long in any particular region because then, uh, like, a toxic fog will come into the area. So you kind of have to keep moving as well. And it's it's going to be a, uh, a survival of how many minutes you survive rather than how many days you survive type thing. So it should be fun. Uh, you know, I've got some spray paint still. What we got here? I'm looking for some sneaky beans. Someone said in the comments, hey man, I want to see some sneaky beans. Got another can opener there. Sneaky beans! We got them. We got them. Should I just end the series now? Should I just declare victory? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. All right. What do we got here? Jerry can? Well, do you have a nice storm lantern to go along with that jerry can? That, that's what I really need. What we got back here? Some more sneaky beans. Got to watch out for them sneaky beans. Uh, Ah, oh, good old camp office. You've changed over the years, but, uh, oh, we can make, we can go double pot. Oh, look at this. Two, three, three rifle rounds. Now we're just missing the other part of that equation. And a uh, whetstone. Oh, man, I swear I looked at all this stuff already, but I keep looking around and the loot just keeps appearing. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm just going to keep looking around, hoping that I see more stuff. All right, let's search these. Never have much luck with these. Definitely never found a rifle in one of these, so, you know. Probably has to do with, you know, just basic geometry. All right. Um, what about back here? Did I already check back here? I think I did, sort of. Okay. Nothing up here. No storm lanterns. Please tell me there's a storm lantern upstairs. I'd really like one. Carl, are you here? No, Carl. Oh, that's not good. Oh. All right. Well, I'll take it. it must be Carl outside. We'll just say that that's Carl outside. I left a hat behind. I know. I could, simple parka. We'll take it. We'll we'll stack it up with what we already got. And another pot. Okay. Now we're now we have a crazy amount of pots. What do we got here? What, what kind of shoes? Ah, oh, they're crap shoes, but they are leather. They will provide leather. So we'll take that. Matches a revolver cartridge. That's, we'll take that. Anything else? A note left behind. I'll uh, let you guys pause this if you want to uh, to read it. It's created by one of uh, the backers. The early early access or I don't know what pre-production backers, Kickstarter backers. Yeah, I was one of them. All right. Oh, I've already searched it. Never mind. Shoot, I was hoping for a rifle in here, but maybe we'll get lucky elsewhere. It's okay. What's the temp in here? 45? Pretty cold, but uh, it is what it is. I'm still just kind of searching, doing secondary sweeps here, because like, like what happened downstairs, sometimes I just bump into things. All right, before I forget about it, I know you guys are worried. Am I going to put the parker on? Yeah, I'll put the parker on. So I'm assuming that's a light shell. I don't know why. Too bad I repaired it. Should have waited. So as you can see, this one isn't as windproof, but it is a lot warmer. It's like double the warmth. So I'm all about the warmth. I'm not so much the windproof. Sort of just comes along with it. If you have good warm clothes, it's going. They're going to and they're stacked like that. They'll be pretty windproof. All right. I don't think. What else are we carrying around as far as clothes go that we don't need? Uh, those that I can tear those down. And then we're hungry. That's all right. We have plenty to eat for the night. That right there is uh, going to be like 600 calories. That can almost get us through the night right there, just the, the cattail stocks. So, all right, what else? Uh, book for burning, maybe. I'll put, you know what? I'm going to move this over here so that we don't miss it. Stop. There we go. And that way, when I come in here, I, I grab the book. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, I remember what I did that for. 
The world's biggest light switches, man. All right. I think that's about it. Um, I am going to take a look here. How are we doing on... Those boots need repair badly. And what do we need for that? I think it's a cloth and a cured leather, which we do not now have. So these were actually kind of a good find. Uh, we're probably going to find some better boots pretty quickly. If not, we're going to craft our own with the deer, the, the deer hides that we have curing um, in the not too distant future. So let's harvest this up. We get two out of that? Oh yeah, one for each shoe. <laughs> okay, cool. Start harvesting. That'll help warm us up too, give us something to do. Productive. She's starting to get tired already? She's like not even halfway, like, she's still got a third of her energy left. I don't know what she's talking about. Alright, let's, let's, uh, pray for victory here. We get 50% now, take it up. To, that would be pretty nice. We really don't want to be running around barefoot. If we get attacked by a wolf. Okay, good. 72%. I like it. So now they're eh, quite a bit better. So not too bad. It could be worse. It could be worse. We could be wearing sneakers or freaking bowling shoes or something. All right. What else do we want to tear? We want to tear this thing up. Yep. Plus we get rid of that weight. Then we can use it to, uh, you know... These jeans, we'll probably get something better than jeans pretty soon, but honestly, that's probably the thing. I that's, I do need to repair that, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's harvest this up. 40 minutes. I think I'm going to try to make it to one of the uh, cabins on the other side of the lake there, since uh, there's nothing really holding us here at this point. We're a little bit overweight, but that's not bad. And let's repair these. Oh, no. Let's try again. Oh, gosh. Failed twice in a row. Okay, maybe it's just not meant to be. Let's go outside and check the weather. See how we're doing. I am a little, little overweight because I'm fatigued a little bit. I don't know what she's complaining about. It's not that bad. There's also a new region coming. So that should be fun. There's a cave back here, but there was a wolf that used to be, go back there in the early days of this game. Um, it was just so bad because it was like you were just literally in a va in a in a, ro a canyon with him. And he had nowhere to go. Okay, I'm going to holster this. I'm going to start hol harvesting. Um... And then a lot of times, oh god, fog's moving in. It's 34. We can walk around out here. Well, it feels like 34. We can walk around out here with impunity for the time being. You know, I could lay down the, uh, you know, I'm going to lay down those birch saplings. We'll see what happens with this fog also. I'm looking over there to see if there's any, any more. Because I've been in here for a, an, a couple hour or two. You know, almost seeing if there's any more. No, nope, no more feathers. Need three feathers per arrow. So. It's always good to start collecting those early if you're planning on making that a big part of your offensive plan. Did I ch ever check? I did. Yeah, I got antiseptic out of here, didn't I? And a bandage, I believe. What's this? Oh, it's reclaimed wood. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of it here. Hold on. Let me take that upstairs. Wait. I feel like I'm seeing stuff now. Over here. Let me check under here. Okay. I think I'm good. All right, so I'm going to lay my branches right here to start curing. There we go. And I'll just drop the uh, reclaimed wood right here as well. Well, it's pretty obvious. And since I'm going to go loot in those cabins over there, I'm going to drop this here as well. I don't need to be carrying that around. 
There we go. 20 feathers, like a half pound of feathers almost. It's pretty good. Um, don't need to carry that with me. That's heavy. Uh, honestly, should be good for the little trip around the lake. So I'm going to drop one of these. I'm just trying to make room so I can pick things up. Probably don't need two flares. Which one am I reading? I'm reading the pistol book. So let's drop that one, even though that one's probably one that I should be reading more. But I've already started this one, so I want to complete it. And then we can drop uh, a couple of these whetstones because I don't really don't have anything to use them on at this point. And probably this simple tools. Don't think I have any reason to carry that either. Uh, don't need two can openers at this point. Drop that. Uh, four cloth. Uh, I could do some. I don't really need to do any repairs right now. And I have plenty of bandages, so let's uh, let's. Oh, nope. Let's not do that. Let's drop, drop, drop. Here we go. And then as far as the feathers go, I kind of want to drop them here, but I think I'm going to have to pick them all up. Hmm. Let's do it. It's a half pound. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt to pick up, but that's all right. Oh, and this stump remover. Yeah, we're not going to be making any... We're not going to be removing any stumps, and we're not going to be making any ammo at this point in this region. So... Actually, don't need to carry that or that for now. Eh, kind of overdoing the food, but that's okay. Don't need to carry two of those. That's like one and a half pounds right there. Honestly, if I have that, I don't need to carry it either. So I have these. That's the same thing as disinfectant, the wound dressing, so I'm good. I'll keep this in case I decide to make some teas or something out there, but honestly, they're just so lightweight, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Okay, we're down to 44 pounds. We've done pretty good. Oh, wow. I even feel faster. It's like it sped up my mouth speed. It, it feels like. I know that's not what happened, but mentally, that's what it kind of feels like. I feel like really light on my feet now. Actually, underweight, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm a little tired. We'll make it over here to this uh We'll make it on over here to this uh cabin. We can see we can see well enough. And that's what matters. I'm gonna wait to get these uh cattails until the return trip. No need to carry them the entire journey. hearing him. I was wondering what the heck was dead around here. I needed to check for feathers. Something's dead up here, though. There's something dead up here. She'll be alright. Don't you worry. Now that we're in stalker mode, someone mentioned, hey, are the uh, prepper caches back? And I was like, that's a good question. Three revolver cartridges. More beans. Not so sneaky. Conspicuous beans is what I like to call those. Some summit soda. All right. Oh, Stacy has. I wonder if that's summit one G. His soda. I don't think so. I know Stacy's grape soda is from Stacy Place. I would like there to be an addition in this game since I've been so faithful in playing it. I'd like it to be Accurize's laxative because I need to, they need to add constipation to the game because of your diet is pretty bad. So they need a, they need a way to counteract it. And I think you know I have diarrhea of the mouth a lot, so it just sort of fits. I'm a stool softener. There's a bunch of wolves hanging out there. They're having a freaking union meeting over there. That's what they're doing. 
Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna have any luck in this one. I don't know that last that last fishing cut was pretty epic. So I'm not yeah newspaper. I'm not anticipating much here. Okay, some reclaimed wood. We'll leave that behind. Obviously, I'm not gonna be picking up that. What the? What the hell's making that noise? That sounded like a deer crunching the snow. I need to get up there, but there's a lot of wolves over there. Mm, we could probably do it. I think I think they're kind of. I think that one's kind of walking away. So I'm going to see if I can make it up here. If not, I'll run. I ain't too proud to run. I don't think I can make it up this. This looks too steep. Maybe I can. Mm, yeah, I can. Alright, do we have a prepper cache up here? Sometimes. I haven't been in a prepper cache in a long time. Like an actual one, not the abandoned one. Uh, are you here? Mm, no, I don't think so. Can't, re can't even remember where it was up here. I know it's up here, but definitely not nothing up here. So let's just get going. And we're gonna head over here. We got two cabins over here to ha have, and then looks like two more, and then one's burned down over there. So two out of three over here, two out of three over there, and then we have the one way over there to the to the left, all by its lonesome. So I'm just going to, I'm going to turn on the jets here a little bit. She's going to have a nice nap though. It's going to be a good restful sleep tonight. So we should recover nicely. What do we got over here? Oh, I thought I saw a wolf over there. There's something dark in front of that leftmost cabin, but I think it's a sign or maybe it's a grill. Something. I can't tell. But at first I thought it was a wolf wandering around. Yeah, it's 31 degrees. A lot colder. Just puts you back to what you're used to. So I'm going to check these docks real quick, and then we're going to head head into one of these cabins. Oh, it's a bench. That's what it is. It's that bench. Check out here. Make sure there's anything obvious around here. Not seeing anything obvious. I think there's a guy with a backpack around here or something like that. But there's also a wolf that likes to patrol this back area here. So well, how do you get in here? Oh, there we go. Let's head on inside. Not that we needed to warm up, but uh, here we are. Okay. Alright, we've got a lot more wolves in this uh, in this episode. The wolves are back. The wolves are back. Alright, search metal container. I kind of want to save the searching for morning when I can actually see. I was looking for a lantern. Mm -hmm. I'll search the obvious places here best I can. Is there anything in the crate? I'm going to move around. I don't see anything. I can't actually see anything myself in there, so... Completely pitch black. Um, stack of papers. All right. Um, we could just bounce over to the other cabin. Raid both of these. Eh, they're both going to be dark. It don't matter. It's no big deal either way. She's really tired. Let's. Um, it's probably too late to do much of anything. I was carrying too many uh, matches. Also, could have dropped about a pound of matches. And this book. I really don't need to be carrying that book. So, oh well. We're still 46 pounds. Not bad. Oh, and all this coal. I could have dropped... I could be down around 40 pounds, probably. Oh well. Oh well. It's okay. So, let's eat. Let's save the uh, cattail stocks since they do not go bad. So, if you're new to the game, these are great because they never deteriorate in condition. So, they're a great source of emergency food. All right, let's do, oh, those peaches look funky. The sardines look awesome, though, and the beans look good. Okay, I think I'm going to do beans and stale chocolate bar. Yeah, let's do that. Don't think you get food poison from chocolate bars. 
Now I'm nervous. I don't think I want to do chocolate bar. It's not worth it. Not worth the risk in case I'm wrong. Do you get, can you get food poison from the chocolate bars or the beef jerky? Let me know in the comments. I know you can from the peaches and I know you can from the beans, but, uh, all right. So where are we at now with our calories? We're at 600. Let's do the tennis sardines. Actually get a little bit of, uh, hydration out of that. Surprisingly, you'd think they'd be like salty and like, but, uh, apparently not. Let's drink up here. Yeah, we're super tired, ready for bedtime. There we go. See you guys in the morning. Survive four days, one hour, 10 minutes. It's a start. Sun is starting to come up. Um, I mean, we're to, need to, I hear you, I hear you. I do need to start collecting cloth for um, crafting like, I'll show you guys real quick here, for crafting the, uh, how come that's a, that's a hatchet, but it's not the one for crafting a hatchet. Improv oh, here it is, yeah, okay, I was like, why is it not in there? It is. Just got to be not blind today. So I need one cloth for that, five for that. That's really, I guess I don't really need to be collecting cloth. I can pretty much accumulate that on the way. But uh, I was thinking I got to make that and that. So anyway, let's take a peek outside. See what the weather's looking like this morning. 16 degrees ain't bad. Wolves are, they moved over a little bit. See, they moved over. Sort of patrolling that side, which is fine with us because we're going to be going that way. So I'm kind of glad they're over there. Honestly, the only thing is I can't get those cattails on the way back if I forego going back that direction. But that's all right. We got here anything? Shelf. I don't know. Can I see any? Oh, trunk. Let's search the trunk. Oh, that's awesome. And it's new. It's condition. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to put that on straight away. Hmm. Uh, which one do I want to replace? They're both so good. Let's do this one. Wait, which one? What? It's 40% waterproof, so I need to put... Let's take that one off. Let's take that one off. Let's put... This one on there, and then put this one on top because it's more waterproof. There we go. Oh yeah, plus it looks way more Canadian. Radio... One of these days. Actually, I can't say that anymore because whenever the uh, Aurora comes on, I can sleep for an hour, no problem. Whenever the Aurora hits, the radio turns on now. So I want to sleep top bunk. Say, so, yeah, top bunk. Called it. Just for another hour. Yeah, nice and bright in here now, so we can see what we're doing. Oh, wow. Look, there's a backpack there. I had no idea. Some ketchup chips. Okay, oh, medical box. This stuff will come in handy. Nice. A broom. Crate. down low here make sure you, there's no like uh you know rifle cartridges hidden back down there it's a good spot for them anything in here nothing in the metal pail i think we've checked it let's go back and check that other cabin real quick because I, I just did a really oh wow it's a pretty day oh i like it it's probably gonna be cold yeah it is cold but it's very pretty Freezing to death has never been so beautiful. All right. Some more sardines. <laughs> All right. I didn't even see. What condition are they? Stand by. Let me use the radio. Oh, nope. I thought I, I, I outsmarted myself on that one. 70%. Those are fine. 
Those are fun. Anything anywhere? Oh, rifle. Oh, revolver ammo. Okay. We'll take it. I don't care. It's ammo. Ammo's ammo. I think that's it. Again, don't want to rush because I almost walked out on the ammo. Thinking that was it. Okay. I'm going to take this rocking chair wherever, wherever I end up at. You got to have a rocking chair in the apocalypse, right? You got to be able to sit out there and talk about how the world has gone to hell. Like, quite literally in this case. Okay. So I'm going to swing really wide here. Make sure that there isn't a patrol wolf coming through this little area right here. Alright. What is that noise? What is that? What's what sound is that from? What animal is that supposed to be? Let me know in the comments. Wood. Okay. Ah, uh, here's the backpack I was thinking of. Just taking a quick look around. Making sure that we're not going to get eaten while we're looking down. Gotta get my crow feathers. Gotta get my crow feather on. There's gotta be another one around here. Okay, I'm gonna check the dock real quick. Normally, I guess if you had regular loot, like where it should be, this is, you can find hatchets stuck into these posts sometimes, these vertical posts. That's where I found some hatchets and things like that. So, I think typically hatchets, especially on Timberwolf Mountain, always check that dock. And if you happen to be looking for your first hatchet on Timberwolf Mountain, my uh, condolences to you. It's not as bad as looking for your first hatchet on Hush River Valley, but... Yeah, I'm going to leave that. Don't need it. Don't need the cloth because we have lots of stuff around here that we can tear up for cloth. Like this, for example. See? So, that's everywhere. And we're just going to weigh ourselves down. Alright. Let's see. Tinder plug. I already have plenty of tinder. You got low. Anything low? I'm so hungry. Well, you're going to be hungry for for a bit. Till we start slaughtering and butchering big game. I plan on rationing our food because we're on the move here. Alright. Let's see what we got here. I'll take another mending kit. Those always come in handy. Plus, you can use them. I think you can. I think. No. I was going to say, I thought you could make them into fishing lines, but I guess you can't. All right. Well, one one uh, cabin down. Another one over here. No, let's, let's do a quick look around. I think we came from this side, so we would have seen it. I just want to make sure there's no rifle back here. Oh, there's the bear. He's over there. Kind of looks like a little black square. It's rhyme time up in here. What is this? A note? Someone left me a note? I'll uh, I'll leave you guys to read this if you'd like. By all means, feel free to hit pause. Alright. Nice thing about the bear. I really like the bear because he's kind of predictable. And he scares the wolves away. He keeps the wolves out of the area. That's probably why the wolves moved all, all moved down further uh, so anyway nothing there nothing there uh, some tomato soup oh what do 
what do we got here? Oh, spray paint. Ah, stupid spray paint. Make it a little more obvious for the next person. Okay, what do we, anything up here? No. Okay, I think we've searched this pretty well. Maybe make sure they get right underneath the shelves there. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Let's head on over to the lone cabin. Over here. Closer to the bear. Closer to Bearville. We do get to collect some cattails over here. Yeah, th these wolves are steering, steering clear of of Bear Twan over here. Oh, I thought there was cattails there. Apparently not. Alright. The one thing you do have to be worried about is if the bear does scare the wolf away, a lot of times the wolves just start running like pinballs around. And they're very unpredictable at that point. But they are, like, scared, so they're not really paying attention to you so much. Right? So that's kind of nice. I'll pull out my pistol just in case we got a wolf in snowman's clothing back behind here or something. Nope. Rifle? Ooh. No, I've seen rifles spawn back here. So, not today. Not today. Nothing out on the dock that I can see. Hmm. That's too bad. What we got here? Frozen Angler. That's the Frozen Angler's Frozen Book right there. That's what that is. Alright, well, let's see what we can find. I still need a freaking uh, Storm Lantern. Wow. Is it really that hard to come across? Is that one of the ones they lock down the spawn on for the uh, low resources? Don't know. Don't know. I mean, I can use torches, that's fine, but I just, you know, storm lectures don't get blown out by the wind. You don't have to worry about that sort of thing. You have to use a match to start it. So you... I guess they do have the, the self-starter and stuff. More beans. Alright. Is that it? Is that it? Now we need to check the uh, fishing huts, right? A couple books to burn, but nothing to research, so we're going to leave that be. Just checking behind that chair there a little bit, making sure I didn't leave anything there. Alright, I think it's time to move on. Let's go check, uh... Let's go see if he's far enough away to... He's not really far enough away to check that yet, is he? It's 8 degrees. We can check this one while we wait for him to sort of vamoose out of the area. The wolves are nice, nicely pushed back. Kind of works out good because we, we checked those two fishing huts over there. Now we get a chance to check this one. I'll just run over here real quick. Looks like they're kind of getting a little bit closer, but not too bad. Yeah, we're fine. What we got here? Oh, rifle ammo. As soon as we... Oh, and I see a pistol round down here. We got another jackpot fishing hut. All right. Oh, fit, wait, hook. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was like about to scream at their monitor. I could feel it. And I went, I went, wait a minute. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And I went back there and I checked it and it was there. Now, we're going to go up here on this bear. What, let him kind of move a little bit out of range. And then we'll, we'll go inside here. He might just keep going in circles. That's okay. We can. He won't charge us. I think we're going to be all right. I can sneak in on this one. Man. Their voice carries, don't they? It's just through the whole freaking valley. Yeah, we should be good here. We should not alert him at this distance. Yeah, we should be good. Yep. Okay. Good stuff. I wish I had a rifle. Go bear hunting. All right, nothing in, nothing spectacular and obvious at first glance. But you never know what these drawers are going, uh, drawers and cabinets are going to hold. A stone and a newspaper. Thanks, thanks a lot. Charcoal. Thanks. Yeah, I don't need that. 
All right, he's coming on back now, but we timed that about perfect. I know that there's some uh, cattails there, but it's it's kind of cold, so I'm just going to... And it's a little hard to walk forward. <laughs> it's a little windy. So I'm going to try to swing wide here in case there's a wolf in this area here. I'm going to get as much, as much forewarning as possible. It's all good. It's all good. If we got one. No. Not. I see some cattails here. I'm going gr to try to grab them real quick. Might be getting greedy. That's like a whole nother night's worth of calories right there. Emergency calories right there. That could save your life. All right, let's get going. Let's back out. Check our surroundings. Always do that 360 scan. Don't get that tunnel vision. Just like when we're shooting at the range. Fire, fire, fire till the threat's neutralized. Stop scan. Okay. All right, we've already been over here, so now I'm going to bounce over this way and collect some food from over here, if there is some. I think there is. Yep, I see some. Keeping an eye on those guys. They should stay. They should stay over that way. Back out to the center. We have the best lines of sight here. Alright, and we'll just cut through here. We've got a couple here. be asking why am I pulling my pistol out you having a low ready whenever I'm coming back to my house here my, my answer to that is well, why why wouldn't you right who doesn't I do this all the time <laughs> all right she's freezing let's get her inside poor Astrid all right all right there we go Pretty good, pretty good. I'm looking here at the time. I think we're going to end this episode right here. That was a pretty good loot run. We got some good clothes out of it. A lot of ammo. I'm, I'm curious to see where we're at with our ammo now. Let's take a quick look at that. Where's ammo at? Hmm. There we go. So we have 13 rifle rounds and 24 pistol rounds. And then we have six more inside the pistol itself. So yeah, we're up to 30 rounds of pistol. 13 rounds of rifle. We just start missing that dang rifle and a storm lantern. Those are really the two things that I really am hoping to find before we head on over to start forging. But uh, yeah, so yeah, good. Uh, definitely a good episode. Um, a lot more wolves in this one. 100% of the wolves so far in the series have been in this episode, I think. So let's see how their saplings are doing. They're pretty doing pretty good. We'll keep. Uh, think how do I want to do this I think we'll probably trapper homestead will probably be something we definitely want to go for uh, before we head back and I think I can craft arrowheads 
at the forge over here in Forlorn. I can craft my hatchet and my knife and then come back and get these. And I think when we come back there, we'll use we'll, he we'll head uh, the back way to Trapper Homestead, the way we normally do when from For Forlorn Muskeg. So that'll probably be the safer place. So I think we're going to head over to Forlorn Muskeg next and uh, see what we can find there. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I've been doing this channel since 2013. I've never had numbers like this. So hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. I don't know what's doing with the uh, YouTube metrics, but something's happening. And um, it's getting recommended a lot more in, in people's feeds uh, for some reason. I don't know. But I digress. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Oh, and we healed hypothermia risk. There we go. It's that easy.